Alright guys, King David K, King K, David K, Multi Development 4 is back with another episode of the full playthrough of this Elysium, the final cut. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and let's get into the investigations. Last episode was, wow, quite an episode if you ask me. Pretty, we found uh, a bit of money, a little bit of money, we, another dead corpse, I guess it was in the last episode. This game is so full of things, sometimes you don't remember, you know, what episode you did what and what happened, but yeah, mostly. We talked to this guy, finally, a guy that can talk, normal, like a normal person, here, by the way, if I go here, I guess, oh, what is this, the give me that. The windows rattle from a strong gust of wind, they're Whoa. covered in a thick layer of grime, they must have been like this for 40 years. So try to see inside. Maybe I can see this. Lieutenant, can you make on what's inside? No. I want to try. You know. You know what? I had a partner once. They called him Eyes because he had to show me things. It's that bad. Hmm. Can you still shoot through? Well enough, actually. It's hard how oh. it works. I'm no sharpshooter, but I pass my shooting courses seven out of ten. I don't know, uh, last time I make you shoot was bad. As I, I said, shoot at the corpse. And the corpse was missed, so... Yeah, maybe you are not the best shooter in the world, huh? If you ask me, he had to do... Wow, well, let me see. Oh, oh, what's this? I want to go inside. I want to go there. From where I can, I don't know, but yeah, we're gonna see something. We're gonna find the way, that's for sure. Oh, I have a fucking idea. You know what? They say that I can pass here. But if I take this, the chain cutters, for example. Can I cut the fence? Come on. This fence can be cut by chain. Okay game says no oh yeah i don't blame it okay this game is so well crafted already there's so many options so many possibilities so many line of dialogues so many things that you can do to change the way you do things i can't blame for that game okay it would have been cool if these uh, chain cutters would have cut in that fence you know and we can pass through maybe but come on the game is doing already enough. It's doing already marvelously. It's doing a very fantastic right now. Already. So, yeah. I guess I don't need more than this. This is more than enough, if you ask me. This is already fantastic. Here I want to go too, but I guess I can. Oh, yes, that I can. Whoa, but I have to make the. Yeah, let's see. Where my legs broke me in. Let me click this. Let's take this first. What's this? Give me that. Wow, we're 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 um, no boat in the boat house today. This section of the coast hasn't been used in decades. Yeah. Whoa, I can try find something here too. Something important. Oh, thank God. Give me this. You know what? I will not use this because maybe. I don't know how this works. You know what? Let's use this. Wow! Plus one sour fell, minus one visual calculus, oversight superstar sunglasses. Oh yeah! Cause uh, yeah, I'm a superstar, right? Whoa! So plus one sour fair, minus one visual calculus. Let me see. Sour fair is low actually and visual calculus where is that is high so will be bal things will be balanced let me see hmm. plus one empathy minus one logic let me see minus one logic who gives a fuck plus one empathy where is that Oh, empathy is whack. Well, we not do that. Sorry, no superstar glasses. Goggles. Call it. Call them what you want. 
Yeah, because empathy is under our feet. It's so bad. Yeah. This place is cool, by the way. It's abandoned. The both house is shoddily constructed. A strong. Oh, sorry, I didn't read that. But yeah, your eyes, the, with you that we see the video, your eyes will catch that. Sorry. I'm reading almost everything just because, I don't know, maybe someone. I don't know. We'll enjoy that. It may be easier to enjoy the gameplay that I'm doing. Ancient paint is peeling off the roof of this shaded bench, covering trust. Because, you know, why I'm gonna be on the video too if I'm useful? Okay, the reaction is good. It's a cool thing. You will enjoy the reaction. Like, yeah, I can read things for you, the things that are not read by the game. So, you, you can follow the game better, I guess. So can I do something here? No. I can't do something. I can't do nothing here. By the way, I always forgot. Uh, the simplest thing that I had to do and I don't do. And I forgot every time. That's another thing. To check out. Here's this recording. Because every time it's better to check out. Now, let me see this. Can I do something here? The sign says entry interdict. Okay. An old ticket taker booth, no longer in operation. What is this? People paid money to park here, no one will pay now. Well, now, but maybe back in the day was a... a oh, what is that? A new thought? No. Maybe back in the day was different. By the way, look at this. Let me search this first. So, the door is not only barrier shut, it's inaccessible. Okay. Oh, give me that. This is what I wanted to take and... What is this? Found people, people. Plus two. What the fuck is this? This is something to wear? Yes. Plus two logic. Whoa. Ultimate peak focus. Minus one perception. Eyes on the road. How many perception do I have? Uh, it's worse and logic I have plenty of that but this feels cool let me see what is that what I this is a hat oh this is a hat and the other hat let me see plus one encycl encyclopedia that I have pretty a lot of encyclopedia hmm. I don't know plus two logic seems cool nine logic oh yeah but encyclopedia yeah it's cool too i don't know i don't want to have a minus one perception because perception is good you know what fuck that i have a level up i don't give a fuck yeah let's take this hat now so it's a cool hat and i want to take that so i will do that oh money how many well not so much but something oh there's something else here give me that absolutely and here too i didn't see this oh money and things i like taking money give me that Now let's see this. What is that? A scattering of bullet holes is spread across the cracked wall, reaching okay. from one corner to the other. Whoa. So look him, even more bullet holes. Something definitely gone down here. Hmm. Correct. Oh yeah. The density of the bullet holes is unusual. Even in a general average bullet hole frequency in Martinez sense. Okay. Affairs. Meaning this is a lot of bullet holes. So looks like fully automatic rifle fire. Something you don't see these days. Why not? The manufacturing and sale of automatic rifles was curtailed after the revolution. Ooh. The destructive power hmm. of such tools proved to be too much. Hmm. We do need to retain some humanity in this world. Absolutely. So I can do this. This is heroic, but I have a uh, high percentage to do this. Plus one bullet holes on the plaza. Plus one bullet holes in the backyard. Plus one know about the revolution. Plus now know about the field electrical. You know what? Hell yeah! 
I know that no everything will have benefited something, and this is. A row yes. Of shades stand facing the wall. Whoa, that's cool. There are many of them. A dozen Whoa. at least. The heads lowered and eyes blindfolded. It's quiet. Wow. No sound. No movement. I can visualize what happened there. Wow, this is fantastic. Ten meters away, Whoa. other shades are lined up in an orderly manner. Automatic rifles prime. A gust of wind blows by. The coats of the firing squad flap slowly in the breeze. A single person stands on the side. Whoa. Snowflakes fall on the wooden planks and the surrounded oh. sand dunes, covering the How land many? with the white wow. of innocence. A long time has passed since the moment of this fusillading. Rain and pride have since washed all the blood away. Not a trace remains. What is this? The abundance of bullet holes leads to two options. Either an inordinate amount of executions were performed here, or they did not use a conscience round, where only one soldier has the loaded rifle. Looks okay. like this was a mass execution with everyone fully armed. Look at the people against the wall. Absolutely. A host of men, probably in everyday clothes, hmm. ragged from the conflict and covered in dust. They were not sitting, a common practice for executions in some nations, as demonstrated by the height level of the bullet holes. Okay. They stand, facing the wall. It's impossible to discern any details about their personality or background. So, look at the line of soldiers, I guess. Seven men in combat uniforms and hmm. dark coats, holding automatic rifles aimed at the people. Soldiers from some side, but from which one? Well, look at the person standing on, on the side. The Commandant, the one hmm. who gives the order. Machine gun fire crackling through the air. The lights of the muzzle flashes dancing on his face. Hmm. Kim, who was? Who in this execution? I don't know. I don't mm. know who died here, lined up beside that horrible wall. It could have been any of the parties involved in the revolution. Okay. Perhaps the ones executed here were the loyalist conservatives, killed by the communists at the start of the civil war. Hmm. Or it could have been the communists, put to death during the last stretch of the conflict by the coalition wow. forces. We don't know, right? Remember what Trent Heidelstam said about Bell? What if it was the failed personnel when their assets were being seized by revolutionaries? Another likely scenario. Thank God that I'm talking to everyone. This helps always. Yeah. Or maybe. Ooh. Or maybe you mentioned coalition forces. Could it have been them against the wall? Yeah. It's very unlikely the coalition forces were the ones who died here. They were always the last ones against the wall. Hmm. To be honest, if a coalition member Experience. was anyone in this situation, it was a commandant, the superior giving the orders. All right. So, goodbye, I guess. A cold sea wind blows away the figures. Okay. Wow, it was cool. Super cool, if you ask me. Ultra mega cool. Enormously cool. Yeah, same, right? Yeah, that was something. What is this, by the way? Nothing. Yeah, maybe the bubbles that I've taken. Or money that I've gained. So, now what exactly? Here. Yes, this is important. This is gonna be the two men. Tiny cages carefully constructed. Yes. Yeah, tiny cages. The, these soggy logs smell of ignition fluid. Still, they won't light up. Okay. And this. These heavy military blockades are right led with bullet holes crumbling. Oh, bullet holes here. Two. A boy bobs in the water. The number on it says 11. Huh. Can I take that? Or something? Can I see? Well, I guess no. So, there's something else somewhere here. Let me see. Maybe... Maybe no. So yeah, let's talk to these guys now. Yeah, right? Let's start with him. 
Oh, what is this? It's almost impossible to get fire going this near to the ocean. Alright. Here we go. Nice More and easy. finally. No way out, little guys. Not out of this gem. Think about it. I came here for him. Because the the old lady on the wheelchair sent us to try to find him. And we found our car disrupted. The badge. Another dead body. A new case to solve. Another things to know and explore. Uh, a, a house. Free house. We found a house where we can sleep for free. Without paying a fucking 20 uh, real to that fucking guy, guard that I hate. Wow, that's fantastic, this place. We found even... Um, how the hell? Not Waypoint. I don't remember the name. Uh, come on. Fast travel. A fast travel point with a phone where I can call something that I know. I don't know who he is still, but it destroyed my morale. Wow, that's fantastic. We found a lot of cool things here. Thank God that I came here. That this thing made my day. Absolutely. There's a cylinder on the hmm. ground in which the man is arranging some netting. It looks like some kind of trap. He notices you. Hmm. Who's there? Oh, the police. Hello, officers. They don't like us. Is that the police? Why are the police here? Don't worry, Gary. I'll handle it. You must be Morel, the, cryptos the cryptozoologist. To what do I owe the pleasure? That's sarcasm. He takes no pleasure from your appearance. You don't seem too happy to see the RCM. Oh no, it's all right. I'm just busy. He glanced What's at this about? Finger. Lena sent me. She's been really worried about you and is waiting for you to get back. Yeah, of course. Whoa, seventh experience, oh, level up. Message. Yeah. That damn water lock is broken. We can't go all the way around the 881. Well, now uh, it's not broken more, I guess. So yeah, that, that was me. I broke the water lock with my motor carriage, but it's fixed now. You can go back. Yeah, without the whole story. No, let's tell the story. What's the problem? Yeah, I trust him. Since, you know, I trust Lena, not him. But I guess, yeah, let's go. You broke the water lock with a motor carriage. <laughs> there was a billboard in the canal. Not a vehicle. It said Samaran Butter. I guess you're right. It was really the science fault. Anyway, you can go back now. No, no, it was all me. I caused your delay, and I'm sorry, but you can return now. I guess you're right. It was really the science fault. Anyway, you can go back now. Did he say we can go back now? Yes, Gary. We can go yes, back. Yes, Gary. <laughs> you see, Lena? Tell her I won't be long. Tell her I won't be long. Be long. Yes, Gary. Sir, your wife is waiting for you. Oh, to him, not to me. I just have to do one more round. See if the phasmid has taken the bait. Then we go in. Okay. He references a bit of netting that has come loose in the wind. His hands are large and weather worn, but also used to delicate, precise work. Tell me about this phasmid you are looking for. Which is why we've been knee deep in the reeds laying traps for it. What makes it so difficult to find? Good question. Being a phasmid of the order Phantasmodea, a ghost insect, it disguises itself as plant matter. <laughs> In this case, the reeds. Awful lot of reeds around, aren't there? And I suspect it may have also developed other specialized techniques to protect itself from predators or scientists. In our present case. So, what sorts of specialized techniques is the phasmid using to hide itself? It's my hypothesis that it has evolved certain electrochemical defenses that allow it to interfere with animal perception, impeding pattern recognition, confusing the visual cortex. But I cannot describe how these defenses work, much less how they evolve without studying a live specimen. So how big is this phasmid? I'm expecting it to be quite giant. Hmm. One known species of phasmid called the Megaphasmodea zoensis. 
It's about Whoa. the size of a grown man's forearm. What? So. Ah, okay. So he leaves the conclusion up to you, forearm? Seems puny, to be honest. Hmm. Why are you so interested in this stick bug? Aren't, you, aren't there more sensational animals out, out there? Typical rookie assumption. Hmm. Insects are much more sophisticated creatures than those unversed in zoology give them credit for. Hmm. Even simply catching a glimpse of the Insulindian phasmid would be the apex of my, of any cryptozoologist's career. But to study it and its defenses, find out how it stayed hidden so long, hmm. would be glory Whoa. itself. Hmm. Glory, yeah. So, what have you discovered about it so far? Very little. I'm sorry to say. No one's ever captured a specimen. Whoa. So all our information is based on first and third hand accounts. So no one's ever found one? Not yet. Wow. That's what makes it a cryptid. That, that, that's gonna be a discover. That's gonna be fantastic if they found it. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, if there's mm. no proof of its existence, how do you know it's real? Mm. Yeah. That's another thing. I know it's real. The cryptologist says br brusquely and now to even he seems that taken back by it. So he's convinced, like, I know. But yeah, sometimes even I get convinced on something and like I know that's real and all this and all that, but it's not always like that, okay? Maybe you think it's real, but in fact it's not. It's just some assumptions, weird assumptions that don't take to nothing. But yeah, maybe if they persist, you know, it can be real. Maybe. Who knows? It's clear that his obsession with the phasmid is driven by something more than the pure pursuit of scientific advancement. Hmm. By which I mean, I've heard enough first-hand accounts to believe quite firmly that the Insulindian phasmid is more than mere superstition. Hmm. Lena said there has been a slide of it here in Martinize. Yes, the most recent sighting was by a couple of teenagers along the coast here. Hmm. That's what brought us to Martinize specifically. Hmm. It's the first credible sighting in several decades. Admittedly, it's an unusual location for this species, but with all the sewage runoff upstream, it probably doesn't matter much anymore. So, maybe the insulinian plasmid has... died out? I have to resist the thought. Such an extraordinary creature is doubtlessly highly resilient. After all, it's generally thought to be capable of parthenogenesis. What? He means asexual reproduction. Hmm. The females of the species don't need to mate to produce viable eggs. Oh. This makes it easier for a species with a small population to survive. Alright, Encyclopedia top! Knowledge reigns supreme. So, that's pretty clever. Females reproducing without males are tra a travesty. A crime against passion and common sense. This arouses no special feelings in me. That's pretty clever. Yes. Yeah. The Insulindian phasmid is a very clever insect. That's why it's so damn difficult to catch. But as a scientist, I'll try my best to remain dispassionate. Tell me more about these traps. Well, they may not look impressive, but Lena designed them quite cleverly. So I'm sure they'll do the trick. Lena designed the traps? Yes. How do the traps work? Simple. Attracted by the locusts, the phasmid crawls down the funnel and, having eaten its fill, can get back out. Hmm. At least, that's the intention. Hmm. The net isn't a perfect solution, but we didn't want to use anything that might damage the specimen's delicate exoskeleton. Okay, so what are you using as a bait? Locusts. Nearly hmm. all known phasmids are herbivores, of course. But we've hypothesized that the Insulindian phasmid might occasionally prey on other insects. Hmm. Inside the traps, a number of locusts crawl and tumble over one another in a tiny, chittering swarm. Hmm. A meat-eating stick insect. Does it pretend to be the reeds as part of its ambush behavior? 
This seems unlikely. So, a carnivorous insect, stick insect, seems unlikely. Thank you for your opinion. We have also included plant material in the traps to satiate your skepticism. Alright, so what will you do if this trap don't work? They'll work, I assure you. The predatory hypothesis, using hmm. locusts as bait, accounts for the failure of previous efforts by other teams, which use plants. We have given this some thought. Okay. The traps do seem to be deftly and thoughtfully constructed. Hmm. It's clear the cryptozoologist's wife knows what she's doing. So, let me ask you about something else, yes. I guess. What? Lina seems to pretty seems pretty eager for your for you to return. And I'm eager to return to her, I assure you. But I can't leave before we finish with these traps. My hmm. wife understands that just as well as anyone. He looks south where Lena would be. Come on, Morel. We've been soaking out here for days. It's time to go back. <laughs> he wants to go back. Huh? And leave the traps. Absolutely not. Hmm. I won't let Lena down. Well, even me, when I go fishing, I want to go back. I want to stay there forever. You know, maybe last cast and last cast and last cast and last cast. Last cast after last cast after last cast after last cast. Maybe a fish will come. So, yeah, it's like, you know, the more you stay, the more possibility, possibility there is that a big fish will bite your lure. Because, you know, come on, yeah, you know. Come on, she wants us back. I'm soaked up to my nuts over here. We'll both catch reed crabs if we don't dry out soon. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know that the fast meter was so important to Lena. Of course it's important to her. She's seen him. A verified sighting, on record, one of only 40 century. And it's hers. Whoa, so really? She sighted off the phasmid? She didn't tell me that. Yes, that's how we first came to know one another, in fact. But that's her story to tell, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> he coughs, then continues. Suffice to say, it's long been our dream to find proof of the Insulindian phasmid together. <laughs> I can't abandon course now. Hmm. Another cough into his fist this name. This time. Maybe you could go back the wheeling, warm up, come back to check the traps later. You should just give up on this bug hunt. Okay, I understand. I don't give up on things either. Well, number three is the truth for me in IRL, in real life. I don't give up on things. Never. That's for me. But maybe, since it's old, it's cold here, it's a pretty, you know, you know what? Maybe you could go back to the whirling warm-up, you come back to check the traps later. Since it's coughing, I don't know. For me, number one seems the wise solution. And uh, that's what I want to say to him. No, no, no. The no, traps huh? need to be monitored on a regular schedule. Okay. We do if the fast were to starve. While we were sipping tea at the hostel. Come on. He's dead set on this. <laughs> hmm. I could go for some trap setting. So what if we check the traps for you? I didn't expect you to take such an interest in our work here, officer. He looks at you with obvious surprise. Cryptology, cryptozoology and detective work are very similar. Chaos in my method. I am its shun. I'm all in with cryptid shit. I'm hooked. Number one, because you know, it's like you need to investigate. So, yeah, detective work can be similar in some way, in some things. Yes, indeed. Both require a great deal of yeah, research. Absolutely. To detail and, above all, persistence. Persistence, absolutely. So. Where are these traps? Aren't this the trap? Do why do I need to come on? Where are these traps? There are four in total. Oh. One is to the south, on this little peninsula. By the boathouse is there. It's very near. Okay. Another we set in Land's End, to the northeast, 
It's behind a small sand dune there. On your way to the old radio tower. After mm. the church. Okay. The third is set near the canal. Where you crossed. By a concrete slab. A big thicket of reeds going up the slope. And among them... You just stood the trap in front of him? You should check at least one of those before returning to this one. Since I just said it. This okay. one's more of a technicality. But still, better safe and stupid than sorry. That All seemed right. like a lot. Do we really have time for this extracurricular venture? The pursuit of knowledge is its own justification. Is it? He doesn't look too convinced, but the small shrug indicates why not. What do I do if there's a fast meat in one of the traps? Bring it to me at once. Just make sure the trap is closed tight. He's not comfortable with the possibility that you'll claim the fine. Hmm. But he's lying about this even to himself. What if I encounter the fast meat in the wild? That's highly unlikely, officer. And in the event you do, I'll spray you with the pheromone mixture I developed. It's made of musk and research chemicals. The pheromone should attract the insect to you, or at least prevent it from bolting at the sight of you. It's quite potent, it will last you about a week. Lay on no, me thick. Oh no. Now I'm gonna smell like, I don't know. Ugh. But yeah, he douses you with the odd smelling spray, a double helping as you present your other armpit, and then gives you a satisfied nod. I hope you're not buying this. It dispenses <laughs> it without letting you touch the canister, so it would be precious like holy water. I think you touch the canister, so it will be... Okay. It is precious. A single dose cost me 50 real. Four. Not that I expect you to understand self-financing one's own research. It costs pretty a lot. Wow. He looks at Lieutenant with disdain, then puts the spray back in his pocket. Okay, so I'm ready. Let's go. Right. Do which it. Which means you two can pack up and go back to the whirling. Right, which means you you can pack up and go back to whirling. Okay. Finally, someone's talking sense. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for your help. Gary and I will start breaking down camp. If you have any more questions, now's the time to ask. We'll be gone once you get to it. Absolutely. If it's more cryptid related business you want to discuss, you'll have time for that later too. Okay. But what if the information is vital on the hunt? So how did you become a cryptozoologist? I've just always liked animals and puzzles. Searching for cryptids is a bit of both. So you're li living your childhood dream out here? It's not child's play. Just because I have to trade through the mud every so often. So why not just be a zoologist? Real animals are puzzling too. Real? I know you think one is a respectable mm -hmm. profession, while the other is superstition. Everyone does. I don't. It's a profession, just like any other. Indeed. My methods do not differ from other scientists. I simply draw upon a wider variety of evidence. And I have more hope that something truly surprising might happen. Hmm. Your nerve endings tell you there is no such thing as a positive surprise. Life's a surprise is mostly miserable. And uh, has anything truly surprising ever happened to you? No. As I said, I have yet to catch a cryptid. Although I have come close. Close enough to keep trying. Hmm. Close enough to keep trying, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Something for later, this close call. Hmm. So, what kinds of evidence do you use? Everything from forgotten regional law to newspaper accounts. Like the one that brought us here. To look for the Fazmin. I keep a very open mind. He's interested in things that people believe that scientists don't. So, do you think other scientists don't listen to ordinary people enough? Most establishment scientists only care about reputation and remuneration. Not real research. And certainly not the truth. They're a cowardly lot. And both the field and basement archives can be dangerous places. 
So, you have never discovered a cryptid? No. Very oh. few cryptids are ever discovered. And not for a lack of trying. To stay hidden is a cryptid's primary quality. It's even in the name, cryptid. Yeah, so, how many cryptids have been found? Of the list of cryptids kept by the Cryptozoological Society of Shemni, which is 4,082 items long, about 2,000 have been confirmed as hoaxes. Okay. Two are categorised as confirmed discoveries. The rest are in differing stages of discovery, refutation and data collection. Only two have proven to be real? Yes. The Chateau Quan Forest Pygmy, who turned out to be an extinct species of primate, and a cave salamander from Hugo Grad, who is, honestly, quite unremarkable. It's in a zoo somewhere. Hmm. We cryptozoologists are brutally honest with ourselves, more so even than the public. <laughs> with cryptids, most cryptids are hoaxes or they are never found. That does not mean we should stop searching. So, two out of four thousand is not even one percent. In fact, it is 0.05%. Ever more magnificent, should our search contribute to making that number 0.075%. Well, he has clearly done his math on this. There is no surprising him or swaying his opinion. So, thanks for explaining that. Now, about something else. Yes. Let's talk about specific cryptids. Alright. What cryptids precisely? I usually discuss these things with specialists, so I don't know what. We would have to discuss. <laughs> he wants to say, but decides against it, since you've offered to help. So, which cryptid did you almost catch? You said before. That you almost caught one. A willow person. Whoa. It's a long story. One non-specialist would find rather dull. A willow person, huh? Willow people? Not at all. What are willow people? They're not people, really. Some argue they aren't really animals. So they seem to have evolved directly from trees. What? He says it's in a self-explanatory everyday manner. What the fuck? Evolved directly from trees? They're very, very thin, almost flat in fact, and can camouflage themselves easily, wrapping themselves around trees and blending in with the tree bark. In that way, they're not too dissimilar from the phasmid we're looking for here. So, wait, so I may have seen these willow people without knowing it? You probably have. Whoa, so how did you almost catch a willow person? Gary and I painted an entire grove's worth of trees in slow drying paint. It was a bright lavender colour. I was hoping one of the willow people would get paint on it and not be able to camouflage itself. Hmm. <laughs> After waiting in hiding for hours, I saw a figure slip from one of the trees, a lavender shadow dashing through the grove. Hmm, and then... I chased it with a knit. Not very elegant. You can't be elegant in the field. And, well, it was faster than me. Oh, right. lavender shadow. He smirks. <laughs> I know you think we were snacking on funny mushrooms. It's easier to mock someone than to admit that the world might be more interesting than you've imagined. Yeah, that's true. And furthermore, I'm not saying it was a confirmed sighting. I'm painfully aware of what goes into verifying such things. There is a serious possibility that I saw a squirrel or a trick hmm. of the light. I am my own harshest critic. Okay. He makes it a real point here to sound falsifiable. So, and Lena's sighting of the phasmid, is that... Confirmed. It's 100% verified Whoa. and meets all the standards of an authentic cryptid sighting. Wow, just tell me about a cool cryptid. Any cryptid. No offense, officer, but I'm not much of a pedagogue. Hmm. I don't know what I would have done if Lena hadn't persuaded me to go back to field research. You should ask her if you want interesting stories. Hmm. Okay. Me? I'm not a people person, unless you haven't noticed. And I don't make a good lecturer. 
My strength lies in field work and persistence. Holy fuck. This is not a people person. It is talking like half an hour. Oh my god. You're not a people person. And if you was, come on. And I'll tell you then, let's change the subject. By all means. And uh, I get <laughs> going. He cokes and wipes his mouth, yeah. So now this guy, right? Hello, I'm Gary. Hello. Very <laughs> generous of you to help us out, officer. Okay. Yellow man. I mean, officer. <laughs> yellow man. Why? Why yellow man? Oh, first of all, his face is not so yellow. Second of all, you can say like, maybe his jacket. Hell no, it's orange, so what the fuck? And don't call yellow man my friend Kim, okay? Don't be racist, fuck you. The lieutenant raises his eyebrows slightly and takes out his notebook. Yellow man, <laughs> interesting. This is something to ask him about, after a little probing first. Hmm. I'm just waiting for my friend Morel to finish up with his insect traps so we can return to civilization. Hmm. So, not a lover of a great outdoors? I like nature, just not this bloody coast. Oh, it's okay. mostly drunks and degenerates that come here. Hmm. Degenerates? This man respects authority too much. To see the truth inscribed upon thine own visage. Pretend thou art a paragon of virtue. So, I am neither of those things. I can assure you I am by the books clean as a whistle officer of the law. I'm not even tempted to touch intoxicant. That's fake, because I already did it. But now I'm changing, I'm trying, so... Nobody's perfect, I guess. Sadly, I think I might be a drunk or a degenerate, maybe even both. Drunks and degenerates, that's my crew. You know what, nobody's perfect. I'm sure we've been tempted to drink. Oh, I've been tempted. Yeah. But someone has to stay strong for River Hall. Hmm, River Hall, wow. The pronunciation there. He gaze shifts to the pile of soggy logs at his feet. He pronounces Revacol with a hard K, unlike other people. You said Revacol, I noticed it, you know? Eagle Eye. I like to pronounce it the hard way. By the way, I hear it, Old baby. Way. The Vespertine way. Oh, this is the old way, Revacol. Yeah, we're gonna call it Revacol, well, if I remember. Because Revachol is good enough. That stupid way. Ah, it's stupid too. It's a secret right. A very fringe nationalist handshake, probably. Do you know anything about the man hanged behind the whirling racks? Oh, yeah. Oh, so that's what the RCM in Martinez is about. Yeah. Great. Great to hear someone's finally taking care of that. Absolutely. So you do know something about it? No, no. no? Nothing. He was some kind of mercenary. But everyone here knows that. I'm just glad to hear you're looking into it. That's all. Okay. He didn't kill him or anything. But there's something going on here. Mm. Is this your mug? My mug? W why would you think that? You said yellow man. That's not something many people go around saying. Really? I hear it all the time. All in jest, of course. No offense meant to anyone. I hope so. Kim is my partner. Do you feel offense him? Come on. So still seems suspicious. Did I mention the mug was found at the scene of a lynching? Alright, I will... Okay, let's okay, do this. Okay, okay. I admit it. I threw the mug away in the trash container behind the hostel. Oh, you see? I know I shouldn't have, and I am very sorry, officer. Oh, so the door that I unlocked is... Oh. You're not going to find me, are you? I am. Rip out a fine sleep for Fancy Rio. Whoa. I am. Rip out a fine sleep for 100 Rio. The maximum. <laughs> Give me the money. Number two. Okay. I deserve that. And I won't do it again. You have my word. I don't know what got into me. Stuffing my garbage in another man's property. It's, uh, I've been having trouble at work lately. It, the Koikos are price dumping us out of competition. What did you do, Gary? Nothing. Nothing. Just answering some questions. 
helping out the law. Here we go. Start pumping that sweet info. So how did you get the trash container? How did you get into the trash container? I know a guy who works with the trash collection services. Hmm. CS Municipal. He gave me a master key for the trash Whoa. containers of Martinez. Why will you need to go into everyone's trash? So I can use the Whirling's trash compactor to store my own This stuff. fantastic. Body disposal is expensive as hell. The damn Chimians run it like a mob. Give me the key, give me the key. I'm sorry, okay? I thought I could cut costs. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have disgraced myself. Disgraced? No need for the histrionic, sir. It was, after all, just a trash container. He studies his reaction. Gary doesn't answer. Hmm. Gary, did you put the clothes of a murder victim in the man who was hanging behind the whirling rags into the trash container? Officer, please. Let me explain. It's not like that. Do. I was only cleaning up. I live right across the yard from where he was hanged, and I saw him stripped naked. All the clothes lying around in the yard, smelling. People are animals, you know? Yes, yes, what happened? Then I came out to clean up the rags, because no one else would. I put them into the Whirling's trash, along with a broken mug, admittedly. He changed his mind sentence. Okay. I was coming to throw the mug away, and, well, I threw the mug there and the clothes too. Right. It was just civic duty. The lieutenant remarks rolling. Exactly. That's exactly what it was. Civic duty. Hmm, that's interesting. So, you wouldn't know anything about the victim's missing armor, would you? Armor? No. Hmm. I, I mean, yes. Of course. I know hmm. he was wearing armor. But I don't know anything about it. An infant could see he's not telling the truth. But he's too scared to admit more wrongdoing. So, let me see if Armor. I click again. An infant could see his Let's move on for now. I hope I can help your investigation in my small way. Don't be so relieved yet, Gary. This bad cop may have been in your apartment, Whoa. admiring your mug collection. Perhaps a huh? little intimidation. So this is interesting. Let me see. Are you a cryptozoologist no, too? No, no. I help Morel with research sometimes, and I've learned some things along the way. But I don't usually go in for picnics like this on my own. Okay, so you were surprised to see my colleague, Lieutenant Kitsuragi. Not many Seolites here, or anywhere, other than Seol. I meant no offense, truly. Yeah, as always. I understand. Do you remember how when we met Measure Hat and I said the next races will be a really good one? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Well, this is that racist. Hmm. How are you? I don't know, I liked previous races, but <laughs> he is nothing compared to Measure Hat. Yeah, that's for sure. He's nothing compared to that guy, but how are you Gary? How are you a racist? Hey man. All I meant was there are not many Seolites around here. I'm just stating a fact. Do you have a problem with Seolites? No. No problem at all. So, let me try it. What is this? Composure. And I'm so bad at that, right? Yes. Now it's gonna be better, right? And this... Inspect the traps. Wow, this is gonna be this is gonna take time. So let me see now. Can we try? I have another idea. Let me see. I have another idea. I have some clothes that give me composure, right? Yes, my shoes. Minus one, this. Give me that. Perfect execution. Do that. Magnesium. That's what you're lacking. Yes! The lack of magnesium has you slapped. The magnesium levels in your blood are dangerously low. It's about the low magnesium levels and not the high alcohol levels. I fucking knew it wasn't the alcohol or the other things. Yeah, the other things. 
Long live the other things. Made you strong as an ox, they have. So there's lack of a mini yes, in me? and it's critical. Look at yourself. You're practically devolving into a fish due to the lack of magnesium in your bloodstream. I need to mag it up? You need to get so magged up. You've probably had two heart attacks and a minor stroke already. And the only prescription is insane amounts of magnesium. Okay. One stroke, don't be so modest. He's having one right now. You're saying I need to become a magnesium-based life form? Yes. If you want to Whoa. live, you need to evolve. You need to okay. ascend the carbon barrier. Go to the apothecary and buy insane amounts of magnesium. It will reverse the damage to your circulatory system. Okay. Just remember, it's not the alcohol. Buy more of that too. Alcohol is not the problem. Okay. And it's certainly not the dextroamphetamine. Okay. Nor smoking for 40 years. It's the lack of magnesium and excess of coffee. You should stop drinking coffee. It wreaks havoc on your gastrointestinal system. Alright, so now we gain this. Magnesium based life form. It's generally understood that human beings are carbon based organisms. Fusing little carbon tubes together to form complex mushy structures capable of thought, love and locomotion. It's also known that these structures sometimes like to take the hedge off by consuming ethanol, amphetamine, etc. In such cases, it's important to supplement your body with magnesium. Tried? Mag it, mag it, down, mag it time. Leave liver damage, maximum mag. Some people say magnesium doesn't really do anything and you just need to quit. What what do we tell them? Hmm. So now what? Let, let me talk again. I mean, and now I can, sense. right? I hope so. That yes! Very uncomfortable on him. Look at the buttons, barely keeping that thing together, as if something is ready to rip out from underneath. Hmm. He's a messy musculature? No, he's scrawny. Try again. Something worn underneath it? Yes, like a piece of ceramic armor, for example. Ooh. One that makes a clicking sound when the plates meet each yeah. other, resembling pearls or marbles. Stolen from the corpse in the yard near where he lives. Give me that! Yes! I see you're a connoisseur of high quality comic gear. I knew here. you'd figure it out, officer. Hmm. I'm sorry I didn't tell you at once. I was... Give me that. I was ashamed of what I did. And I didn't want you to know. You see gleaming with ceramic shine underneath. And a thin layer of interlocking plates covers him his ground. To First of all, give me the armor. First of all. Then... We're gonna see. We're not detecting falsehood, sire. He's gearing up to admit the truth. Hmm. Gary, what's going on? Later, Morale. I've got apologizing to do. Hmm. No, you've got explaining to do. Yeah. Let's go, Kim. Give me that armor. Now. He sighs again, hangs his head, and unbuttons his shirt fully. A cuirass. Give me that. The dead man's boots yeah. comes into view. Soon it is in your hands, smelling of his sweat, but so, so light to hold, like a bag of cotton. Fantastic. Why did you really put those clothes in the trash? Everyone was picking those pieces off him, and I was watching them do it. And they scattered his clothes all over the yard. Everything was smelling. He looks at his feet. So I went there to take out the trash and started cleaning up. All those rags on the ground, him swinging up there, and I had a lapse of honor, sir. I thought, he's a foreigner. They all say he wasn't from here. Only the caress was left, so I stripped it off him. It was early in the morning, no one saw me. I took it with me. It was a mistake. Had I known it'd give you guys trouble, I, I wouldn't have... Fuck. <laughs> We're detecting sincere contrition here, sire. He's not trying to flatter anyone. It's okay. It was a loose end, and you are tiny tat now. I'm so fucking sorry I called you yellow man. 
Seaite officers commanded the suzerain's navy. Most of them sided with the king when... He shakes his head. They were thoroughly conservative men. He realizes suddenly. Why did you lie to me, Gary? Because I was weak. I should have told you the moment I saw you. But... He says, staring at nothing in particular. The hell, Gary? You in trouble? I'll explain later. <laughs> he doesn't master up strength to yell. Do you know who killed the hanged man? I always thought it was the Union. Some Union hard asses lynched him because of the strike. But almost hmm. everyone in town knows that. I wish I could tell you more. Hmm. This is all he knows. So how are we down here, Gary? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I will never level do up. Like this again. Yes. He looks around, relieved of some burden, his mouth still quivering. So, Gary, you live nearby in an apartment in Martinice? Sure do, officer. Have you found your door open lately? In my home, yes. When I was going to... How did you know? Well, Mr. Everard Clare thought, thought it's necessary to unlock your apartment. Mr. Clare? Unlocked my apartment? No. I did, per his request. So you work for Everard Clare? He realizes Officer, what's going on. please tell him we're good. No, no, tell him I'll make it up to him. What have I done? He'll <laughs> send the muscle after me. The man looks around, whispering. He makes sure no one hears you talk. As he lowers his tone, he hunches his back. Really? I don't even know what is what what it was about. I just opened the door. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but he doesn't like you. Try not to shit yourself, Gary. It's just an open door. Not grimly. Our discussion on this time is over, Gary. So yeah, I don't know what it was, but he doesn't like you. I was probably talking too loud in the world the other night. About some theories. Stupid. Shouldn't have run my mouth loud oh, like that. Let me know the theories. I won't do it again. And the if experience, give me that I too. I can do to assist you, or the union. Just ask, okay? I'll try to help if I can. This scared him proper. He's positively melted from fear. Hmm. Has to prop himself up with a lot of anger to keep it together. Hmm. The weather vein has turned. He cannot be unturned. He clearly liked his squirming. He may even have changed his mind about the whole door opening operation. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation, I guess. Right? That was fantastic. Oh, first of all, okay, I simply did something here, right? Yeah. This. First of all. Then, second of all, I have... Another point to spend that I can spend, but I don't know if I want to spend it here. That's fantastic. And, well, look at this. Fire weather T500 queer ass. Minus one empathy. I don't like that. But, Plus one paint result, thicker skin, plus one volition, this is what I like, borrowed confidence. Let me see empathy by the way, where is my empathy? Well, empathy is trash, well, I guess yes, better than nothing, if you ask me. So, this vitreous ML colorless fits sungly. And redistributes kinetic energy across its countless wide plates. Amazingly, it fits your un under your coat, and it also makes pretty porcelain sounds when shaken. Well, absolutely. Whoa! Why that sound? Oh, I give me a sound special sound but yeah if i remove this can i see that whoa incredible 
that's fantastic yeah let's put this on again and yeah let me see i have pretty some skill points but i want to let me see if i can see from here inspect the trap no i want something about the dead body uh run the number of victims armor who made the cover for singing car find smokes no the victim's tattoo but no final explore send the victim's body to processing i understand oh no this is what i want yeah let me see oh this is okay uh where is the where is the body thing what is this no tuna and i don't want to do that i want to upgrade where is the fucking the hangman this right Perception, is this the thing? I guess this is what I want to do, right? Perception, so where is that? I have a little bit more already. Yeah, let's do that. Absolutely, I need that. Because I want to check out to the hangman again. So, What is this? That's something. Give me that money. Absolutely. Whoa. This conversation was the best. I know more about the hangman, and that's super important. And nonetheless, whoa. So we we finished here, right? That was pretty fantastic. New armor pieces, yeah. I guess for the other armor pieces, I need to try better with Kuno. Even if I don't want to. But yeah, now let's go, I guess, right? Yeah, let's go. Or maybe there's something else that I need to... If I go from here... Oh, what is this? This new? Absolutely. Oh, oh, two of... Let me see. A thick drone pulse. The music is coming from somewhere on the ice. What? You feel the shadow of a very large building following you. Yeah, in fact, this is a very large building. Now this is... The sign reads sign burn 1147. Okay. And this... Dusty pews in the shadows. Many seem to be missing. Okay. Alright. This... An altar shrouded in dark, or something like that. It's too dark to tell. Okay. By the way, let me see this about the the traps. Okay, there's no time here. This is what I want to do. I need to call Alice back before this end days, and the, this end ends. This no, come on, bad internet English. Fuck you. Be, before this day ends, and maybe she can talk to us about the fucking armor. Oh, I didn't see that. Give me the money. Yeah. Finally, I have some money on my hand. Something that, wow, oh, I can't go inside. I can Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The okay. rectangular seawall ornamentation appears in I want to go inside. to the padlock, carelessly drilled into the wood. So, rattle the doors to see if they open. Nothing happens, only the sound of the padlock rattling against the door. Okay. I don't think that's going to work. So, inspect the carpentry. The carving on the door is block-like and angular, like the church itself. Two large beams shoot downwards, sinking into the wood before they reach the threshold. Run your hand over a beam. The surface is smooth from the wind, but moist to the touch. Feels exceptional. 300 tons of pine would fit together seamlessly. It's old too. Cut hmm. and carved many centuries ago. So take a closer look to the padlock, I guess. The padlock oh, no. passes oh, through yes. a staple that's been hastily attached to the wood. Closer inspection reveals that one of the screws is not a screw at all, but a nail. The work has been done recently and is unprofessional, to say the least. Okay. Should you want to get through, it might be easier to just pry the whole thing off. Turn to Lieutenant. This is where Mr. Prybar comes in handy. Maybe we should circle the building first and look for another way. The building has seen enough mistreatment. Should we start with that 
kick drum coming from the highs. I hear the sound before. Yes, the pulsing bass. A sure sign of junior delinquency. Somewhere east of here. Hmm. There's something on the sea ice there. Whoa. Tool not equipped. Yeah, but I will equip the tool. Don't worry. Don't you worry, my friend. Where is the, the pry bar? Heavy wooden doors. More than twice your well, life stand shut in front of you. Take a closer look at the padlock, by the way. This cheap -looking padlock I, I misclicked it before. It shackles together a hasp and a staple screwed into the wooden door. The lock is adorned with a yellow sticker. Okay. It'll be easier to break the staple than the lock. Also, that sticker is interesting. Hmm. Somehow. Look at the sticker. You see a yellow circle with two X's and a big curve below them that looks like a mouth. You're pretty sure you haven't seen it before, but what the symbol depicts is clear enough. A smiling dead guy. The curve makes it smile and the X's make it dead. Okay. There is something blindingly modern about this symbol. Its modernness puts to shame everything you've seen before. What makes it it's so modern? It's the contrast between the cherry chemical yellow and the rigor mortis. As if the cherry guy didn't know he was dead or the dead guy didn't care that he was. Either way, you get the sense the forces of future are at work here. Hmm. Have you seen the symbol before? Point to it. He takes off his glasses and uses a blue handkerchief to thoroughly wipe them clean before inspecting the sticker. Then hmm. he looks up, pauses, and replies. He wanted to look well, huh? No. What does it look to you? Like to you? It's like a dead man smiling. Suggests junior delinquency. Okay, what is junior delinquency? For Reva Scholzed aussi, the moral intern defines junior delinquents as minors between the ages of 10 and 16 who have committed an act in violation of the law. So, Kuno. These acts aren't called crimes as they would be for adults. Crimes committed by minors are called delinquent acts. This was part of your officer's exams. Hmm. He puts a hand, uh, hand cash shift in his coat pocket. What is suggestive of unit delinquency here? I haven't seen that sticker before, and I'm not a youth. I agree, it's very modern, but does the cheery guy not know he's dead? Or does the dead guy not care that he is? What is the source of the irony here? That level of conceptual thinking is not Whoa. part of my skill set. Wow! Try to peel off the sticker without ripping it. 97%? How can I fail? There's nothing yes! like the sound of a sticker unpeeling. Now it's stuck to your thumb. Put the sticker in your ledger after the last entry where it belongs. Put the sticker on your ledger, right on the cover. Shake it off your thumb and throw it in the wind. Number one. Looks like today was a gold star day. Absolutely. Yes, style your paperwork. Secret task. 10 experience. Now let's try this, because I can, right? By the way, let me leave for a second, because I forgot something, okay? I want to change my fucking boots. That's for sure. Give me the armor. Yeah. You see the sound? Let me see. If I do this, for example. Like this. Wow, I made a mistake. What did I have? Where is the armor? Morale? What? Oh, that's the sound. It gives morale. Whoa. And this too, right? No, oh, maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, that's a sound. Let me see if I use these shoes. Plus one composure, okay? But if I use this... I don't understand what makes that sound. Someone in the comments can tell me what's that sound and why it happens. So let's try this, right? Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut. You just yes! pry bar between the lock and the staple and apply force. Your nice. biceps bulge from the strain. The metal creaks <coughs> and squeals. Okay. The pathetic old wood, rusty screws, and one nail stand no chance against the forces of leverage. From deep within, a bellow rips. Rawr! <laughs> Suddenly, the pry bar snaps. Metal shavings fly everywhere. Perfect. 
the upper half between oh, the no. falls to the ground with a thunk. No, I broke my fucking pry bar. Look at the broken tool in your hand. The broken edge of the snapped pry bar is smooth. Took the tip right off. I was so happy, like, yes, yes what? I broke my fucking pry bar. The fuck? How this is even possible? Tools break, officer. Try to control yourself. I broke the pry bar. Where do I get a new one? I don't know. You don't. Or maybe we'll find a new one. I don't carry more than one pry bar with me. Come on. I thought this was a lousy way to enter a place of worship that's already in disrepair. I guess the church agreed. This was surely just a freak accident. Fuck! Fuck! So fuck that, right? My pry bar is gone, right? Let's take this. I take this trash. Come on, I guess. This episode will end here with the pry bar fucking gone. Let me save. And yes, perfect execution. Let's go to my menu. Come on, this was going so good and then something needed to happen. I, I, I need that fucking pry bar. I know that for sure. Because there's so many things to open with that. I opened already so many things. But yeah, maybe we can find another one, a better one, I don't know. Maybe we can find something else that works the same way, maybe better. I need a, a tool for opening the container that's needed to, you know. So maybe that tool can be helpful even, I don't know. Fuck, the fucking pry bar, come on. I didn't even think there was a possibility and this game surprised me. Fucking great game, but yeah, in a bad way this time. Come on, the pry bar. I needed that. <sighs> By the way, let me change the screen like I did. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you all in the next video. Are we gonna find the pry bar next time? Well, are we gonna need that? We don't have that, maybe. We'll find out. Bye.